Hi, this is Mangalant here again. Summer is too much and the water is drying like crazy. We have scarcity of water, so we need to do something to save our plants. Plants are drying. I will show you how to do the drip for my air canard plants. Here we take the slurry bottle and what we will do is we'll unscrew the cap and we'll make a hole to the cap like this. This is how he makes the hole. Fix this. You have the tap here, you have the nozzle here and you fix it to bottle. There's a possibility that it will leak from the edge. Therefore, you have to seal it. I have a sealing gun. I will just seal base of the nozzle. This is how it is sealed. Completely sealed. So there is no possibility that the water will leak from here. To make any extension in the dripper, you can use these aquarium tubes, aerator tubes. Just cut it to the required length and then fix it to the caps. The caps what you've already done. So like that. You have a full extension and then the nozzles are ready. The bottle cap is fixed with the nozzle and the extended pipe. You have to fit this to the bottle and your drip system is ready. Connect it to the bottle. First we will cut the bottom portion here. You need to only pour water from here. And the water will start dripping from the bottom. Water only till here just to show you how it looks like. There is an extension pipe. We just pour it down and we will start releasing the water. You can see the water dripping. You can adjust this water as required. If you tighten it, the water speed will reduce. As you tighten, the water speed will reduce. You can just regulate. If you keep at this speed and if you fill one bottle full for 2 litres, there will be a drip system for almost 8 hours. <laughs> 